Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and uh, yes, like I said, we are making videos again. I am right back in. I am gassed. I am ready to do this. And what better way than to come back with some news about the new Walking Dead game. Yes, season four is going to happen this year. I've been so gassed about this as I've be I've really enjoyed this. I think I played a couple of the first episodes on this channel, but what I really need to do is finish up all these episodes and things like that. Because if you haven't noticed already, I've been really, really bad at things like that. But yeah, that's not part of this video. We move on to what this video is really about. So, as you can see by the screen and the thumbnail, season four of The Walking Dead will be happening. Now, this will be the final season, they say. So, I feel that there's either going to be a couple ways they can go about this but before we start with that why not go back and check through what has happened for us to get to season four and how that can affect what happens in the season so let's begin right back at the start so at the start of this game we had clementine and uh lee i believe um this was when the zombie zombie apocalypse was happening lee was going to jail because he either killed or he violently messed up his wife's affair type thing and yeah the guy crashed off the road because of a zombie and that's how he then found clementine now through that they then met kenny they met um his wife and son and yeah i forget who else we, we met along the way we met along the way there was the woman the raf i can't believe i think my might not be in the raf but similar to that i think she was part of the forces as well as her dad larry now he died i believe in the end we had to kill him because we knew he was going to turn into a zombie and we went through that and we got to the end when it was just uh clementine and lee because everybody was lost and it ended up finding out that lee was still being bitten because halfway through that season you could choose whether to keep the arm and not tell anybody i believe or to cut off your arm and hopefully that the venom from the zombie won't get to you but at the end of the game no matter which option you choose you come to the fact that you are going to die now um yeah this is the point where it's probably one of the most saddest things you're going to be seeing throughout a walking dead series but i'm not too sure we don't know what's gonna happen at the end of season four but it's the fact that lee does die now everybody got very very close with lee and clementine in that season and it was very very emotional to be able to see a character that which you've connected so much to just die like that and we've got very emotional with clementine crying as she was a little girl at the time and that is how the episode ended but right at the end of the little cliffhanger of clementine going out into a field where she sees two uh shadows if you want to call it that people in the distance which i believe were i can't remember what their names were but they were the people it was two people and she was pregnant i can't remember what she, her name was but that was how it was left so let's move on to season two where things got a little bit more interesting so when we got into season two it was the two people i think her name was karcher or is that kenny's missus i'm not too sure but i should really should have done my homework with this shouldn't i but through that they were together and then i believe the husband or the boyfriend i'm not too sure died and it was left with those two now i believe from there we then lose the woman at some point during the first half of the season i believe and um we then have to try and figure things out for ourselves we then come across a group which we connect up with throughout a lot of the, the series they're a bit of an odd bunch but you know if you're going to have any support anybody is going to be helpful in the end aren't they i'm not sure if you can hear that that's my xbox look be quiet xbox and yeah we then meet up with another group which is that staying at this lodge and we're thinking oh no they could kill us at this point you know because we could be a threat to them but it turns out it's our good friendly neighborhood kenny which comes to save the day in the end so i think one of the people that were to do with the group they have a baby in the end and it comes down to the point where it's kenny this baby and clementine at the end and it was the fact that um they i think kenny tries to put them into like this sort of uh barrier fortress type place maybe like a city if you want to call it that where he wants them to be safe but clementine doesn't want to go with kenny uh go with them sorry and wants to go with kenny 
So with that, they then come across the woman. This is like woman with like an orange coat. She's quite a weird person. But you know, no one's actually weird in, the, in this point, are they? It's just the way people act. But with that, they um, they come to the conclusion that it's each other's fault, and then they start to fight. And it's always going to be one person which is going to die. Now it's up to you who dies in this situation, but I'm not too sure whether it affects the outcome because that is how it ends season two with somebody dying. Moving on to season three now. Personally, it is my favourite um, series, which we have Harvey. Um, it was Clementine, Harvey, his brother's girlfriend or wife, and her brother or his son. I'm not too sure. I think it's the son. And um, it all comes down to the point where Clementine are finding new people throughout this. But this time, what we have to conclude with is the fact that they are having to implement AJ being Clementine's brother. Now, it was her duty and her job throughout this whole series is to protect AJ of anything that happens. And it comes to the point where we're not too sure whether Kate, who is, uh, I think now is Harvey's girlfriend, right? Um, is dead or not, but thankfully she turns out to be alive and perfectly well. Seeing as she was actually quite a nice character, I thought, in the end. Yes, she's a female and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I, I quite liked her as a character. And it comes to the end point where Clementine is going to go on the hunt. For AJ now this is the point where you say goodbye to Clementine and she has this new look about her uh, she's looking quite fresh and new she's got a new hairstyle new clothes you know she's grown up quite a bit and she walks off into the distance in search of her brother and it was that point where they cliffhangered it to the fact of what happens to Clementine but it then comes to the point where it shows Clementine fighting through loads of zombie hordes and it says that Clementine's adventure will continue now this this really got me so excited to the fact that there will be another series and now we come to 2018 where it's been revealed that the new series will be upon us so i don't know why it's a series where it should be season so yeah let's move on to season four and what i predict could happen in that season so there's many ways you can go about this with season four being the fact that it could be Clementine looking for AJ and she might not find AJ and comes to the conclusion that she dies. Now I hope that this doesn't happen seeing as Clementine was the main character all the way from season 1 and I think it would be wrong to get all the way to the end just for her to die. Maybe there's some sort of conclusion where they can come to the point of um, them being able to defeat all the zombies but I don't think that will happen because I think that would just be unrealistic in a complete sense being like Call of Duty with all the jetpacks type thing. But, yeah, I feel hopefully she will find AJ because, you know, family reunions are always cool and everything like that. But I hope none of them die. I know a lot of people in the comments of the Twitter post that they've been putting up on the Telltale page were like they're not hoping that uh, Clementine dies. But we, we don't know what's going to happen, really. Maybe we'll see a return of Kenny, uh, which I don't think so. I, f I swear something happens to him, but I just can't remember what it was. And then... Maybe Harvey will come along at some point, you know, because he he saw off Clementine into the distance and then maybe something will happen. Maybe she'll have a romance of some sort with Gabe somehow. I don't know, there's so many options that they can weigh up here through um, Season 4 and trying to integrate all of the other series into them. But I'm not too sure, but yeah. I'm hoping this is going to be good, as you can see from the pictures, that... The picture of Clementine and AJ, so we're guessing that she does get AJ back. Um, it's a very, very similar picture to the one of her and Lee from season one. If I put the, if you can probably see the pictures throughout here, that the pictures are exactly the same with the fact of Clementine having the same sort of um, aggressive look to her as Lee did, and Clementine having the same sort of figure as AJ in both pictures and they're both holding an axe now this just shows that Clementine has grown up and has taken over the position of Lee and hopefully she'll be able to defeat everybody and maybe make some new friends along the way but like I said guys I don't know any of the pure facts about this I don't work for Telltale I wish I did trust me that as I said Telltale if you're listening to this you want to hook a brother up with a job DM me <laughs> you know I need that type of job and yeah what I'm hoping guys is something like good happens out of this, we're hoping not to have a very very sad ending because you know, if you know me quite well then you know I'm not, I can't deal with the feels 
But yeah, let's hope something good happens out of this because it's such a great series and a lot can come out of it. But yeah, let me guys let me know what you guys think about down in the comments down below because it's such a really really interesting subject because it's such a, a, a series where different things can happen throughout and I hope it ends up with the fact of people coming together quite a few from all different series but I don't know it'll soon be told I haven't got a confirmed release date yet I'll be definitely making a video of that when like a trailer comes out and things like that we'll, we'll pick it apart we'll do all that good stuff but yeah until we do that guys i think i'll call that a day so if you guys have enjoyed this and you have not heard my voice before why don't you hit that subscribe button hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode and leave a comment down below what you guys think will happen in season four but until then guys i will see you guys in my next video but until then peace <laughs>